Hi, my name's Tom Keenan. I'm the sales director with ID Tech X, and we're here at the 2018 edition of the ID Tech X show in Santa Clara, California. Um, my guest today is Dr. Martin Hedges from Neotech AMT in Germany. And Dr. Hedges, tell us a little bit about Neotech and what you're all about. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, so Neotech, uh, Neotech uh, AMT GmbH, uh, we're based in Nuremberg in Germany, in southern Germany, and uh, we're machine tool manufacturers. Uh, we make specifically tools for printing electronics in 3D space. Right. So that means we're going away from planar, you know, PCB-based electronics. So we're actually putting electronics onto 3D structures. So that means you take an injection molded component or a composite component or something, and you print your circuitry, you add SMD components to those outside surfaces. So that's one thing that you do that we do with the 3D printing electronics. Uh, and then a, a more recent development is um, completely additive process change in the sense that we're 3D printing a mechanical structure. So you would take a process like an FDM pro process or a dispensing process for a resin or a ceramic and then putting electronics not just on the outside but also on the inside. Oh, okay. So really it's, it's, it's to move away from planar electronics when you've got that PCB wired in and plugged sure. in and everything to actually put your electronics into a dumb component to make it intelligent to, to, to get these structural electronics. And so what, what uh, commercial markets are you targeting? What, what sectors? Yeah, I mean, we've had uh, previously, you know, 2015 to 2017, we had some mass manufacture in, in China uh, right. on cell phones. So that was okay. printing uh, antenna and circuitry on cell phone housings. Uh, now those were injection molded components. So sure. you'd have a, like a, a, a resin, a PA resin or a PCABS resin. The PA resins would be typically be filled with um, glass fibers to make them strong enough so your phone didn't break. Sure. And those are the main mechanical structures. Um, and then we put the, 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 uh, the, you know, the, the electronics, simple electronics functionality on that. Um, that's kind of dropped off now as phone designs have changed. Now you've got you know, iPhones or metal phones, so you don't have the plastic frame anymore. Sure. So the teletechnology. So that's kind of like dropped off. So that was really one of the big hopes for us, you know, going back a few years. And that's really now, I would say, being surpassed by automotive. So right. You know, we're based in, uh, in Germany, and obviously German automotive manufacturers tend to be quite technologically sophisticated. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, obviously there's an increasing amount of electronics in, 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 in a vehicle. Um, so we're looking at things like um, printing structures on the cabin interiors, lighting structures. Right. So putting LEDs, connecting those up. Uh, through to things like um, heater patterns on rear windscreens on cars. Right. So one of the things that uh, uh, car manufacturers are interested in is saving weight. Now, right. if you take glass out of a car and replace it with polycarbonate, you can save about 30% weight. Right, right. So if you imagine you take all the glass windscreens, the side windscreen, the rear windscreen out of a car, you might have, let's say, 50 kilos of glass there, sure. and you can save 30% of that. Yep. So that's great, but then you have the issue, how do I get my defroster pattern on my rear windscreen? Right. So currently, you know, the way it's done is you take a piece of 2D glass and you screen print that, and then you hot form the glass. Right. But if you're doing a, uh, uh, you know, a, a polycarbonate, that's an injection molded structure, sure. you've got a 3D shape straight out of the system. So how do I put my electronics on that? I can't actually screen print that anymore. So you have right. to have a way of printing over those conformal surfaces. Yeah. So that's, that's, that, 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 that's something that we're, the, the, you know, that we're doing. And I think, I think you know, um, other things like re uh, removing cable harnesses in, in the cabin interior, if you look behind the, the, the scenes in, 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 the, in, in the car, you know, all these electronics are you know, wired up with these big bundles of cables with connectors on the ends. And these are A, very expensive, Right. Yeah, the connectors are expensive, the cables connected, uh, the connect them are also uh, expensive. They also tend to be um, much larger and heavier in, 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 in size than they need to be, not because of the electronics functionality, you're typically carrying a signal through the vehicle, yep. and you only need a really small cross-section cable, but because they are there in big bundles and they have to be manually mounted, so they've got, to, they've got to be guaranteed to live through the mounting process. So you've got some guy bending and twisting them and plugging them in. Sure, yeah. So what you can do is then print those circuits directly onto the structures. So you get rid of the manual mounting. You can also make the structures lighter. You get rid of these big, thick cables that are basically over-dimensioned. Right. Yeah. So. 
Well, that cer certainly sounds like some fascinating stuff. Yeah. And uh, I'm just wondering why the uh, what what, what did you make made you choose to come and in, in to the ID Tech X show here in Santa Clara, California? Well, ID Tech X is known to Neotech. I mean, I've been going to their events in Europe for many many years, yeah. right back in Dresden. Yeah. I think 2005 or 2006, my first right. event there that I, I attended. And we've been uh, exhibiting at the Berlin event for the last three, four years, I think. Uh, and this is really our first foray uh, into, into the US, into the right. North American market. Right. Yeah, we had one, 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 one exhibition last year in Canada, and this is the first one really in the US. You know, and we know ID TechX, and we know how good the events are. So, you know, we've got these years of experience, and I always enjoy going to them. Good. You know, so I hear. thought, okay, this is the one to try. First one in the U.S. It's got to be ID Tech right. X. Well, Dr. Uh, Hedges, I sure do appreciate your time. Yep. And um, I hope you have a great show. And, and, and thank you very much. I'm sure we will. Thank you.